Okay, so this is game two of the Dominion Championship 2018, round one against uh, Mono Mandan. So he actually won the first game, so he's 1 0 here. Um, yeah, so this looks fun. Well, now I, I, I have 5 2, which is already really uh, nasty here for my opponent who doesn't have 5 2, because you have Alms. So I think I Alms for like a dungeon. Yeah, I mean, there's talk of do you open a. If you don't get the dungeon on uh, turn one, it's going to miss the shuffle, so it's not great. But, you know, when you're talking about cultist, you want to talk about seeing a cultist sooner. Uh, you know, you know, just getting the cycling for the cultist, it's a big deal. Like, this is a province board, so. I mean, this is a colony board, so. You know, you're playing the long game. You're definitely playing the long game here. Uh, my opponent got, gets a bishop early, and my opponent, I would say, is making the best of a bad situation because they went for a market square bishop, and they're actually getting the trashing off, uh, getting the golds off. Uh, I mean, the problem here is that the cultists, the runes that you're getting from cultists are going to be so devastating, but still, uh, my opponent's able to get uh, the market square triggers, and he's going to get several market square triggers off bishop. And from my from my standpoint, I c if I get more market squares, I could also react to the uh, bishop trashing and also discard my own market squares for gold. But uh, you know, when you have the initiative, when it's you have the draw and you have the dungeon, it's easier for the person playing the bishop to line that up properly than it is for me, uh, the person, the other player. So the tra the trashing just for the sake of trashing to trigger the market square is good. The points. If you're if you're playing a late game bishop, the points are gonna you could matter like you could let's say bishop a uh, cultist and get a bunch of points. But this is a colony board, so really if you can, uh, if the person not playing bishop, in, in this case me, is able to uh, build a deck that's able to buy a bunch of colonies and do order with platinum and whatever, uh, you're gonna get you're gonna overcome the bishop uh, player. Um, so yeah, but I was actually getting uh, a bit nervous here because my opponent has so several golds now, uh, three golds at least, and this starts to get the cultist now. But uh, it's it already has seven runes. It's not not a great situation here. There's an engine to build. You just need a bunch of uh, native villages, and I haven't been able to play my market square, so I haven't been able to mass up the native villages. But nevertheless, it's time to, I I decide to start buying them here. Um, also Relic is the other card I was looking for after you know you hit them with a bunch of runes and you also buy a Relic that's a big deal you know just the more the Relic is so good because it stacks with most other attacks or it's able to be we weaved into most other attacks uh, for minimal investment but at the end it's still just a, a silver and sometimes it doesn't do much it's actually kind of weird with Dungeon because it means that you're the starting Dungeon the, the duration jun dungeon, if you have to draw from Relic, it brings it only up to six cards, and you have to discard down to two. So it's like you play the regular dungeon. It, it kind of ne negates the dungeon, of, uh, the duration dungeon effect, but still, it's a little good to have. So here, yeah, with dungeons, with, uh, yeah. So here, I opt not, I uh, opt not to play the cultist because all of my good cards. Uh, would miss the shuffle. I'm trying to figure out what I discarded, but I discarded several cards because dungeon makes you discard. Uh, so there was several stuff in my junk pile. So late game, I was thinking, okay, you can get an archive to kind of smooth out the buys. My opponent gets a platinum, though I already have. A, I also have a platinum here, so I'm debating if I want to keep the cultist or keep the relic. I decide uh, getting the draws better because the you get to the bottom of your deck faster. So that you don't have to make that, so that you see the cultist and the the relic again. So here I decide to find I get finally get that mir miracle trigger, but it's not great timing because it reduces what I can discard with my uh, dungeon. So yeah, I'm getting more and more native villages. They're just, uh, I mean, they're roughly a village, and. Uh, 
you know, you just ideally you just start to keep picking up. Uh, you pick up a bunch of cards and you get like a nice thin deck, and then on the last turn you put it all into your hand and put it. Uh, you're doing well. So here, yeah, late game. I was thinking maybe you get an archive. Uh, you get an archive and uh, or just to try to smooth out the turns, but uh, then I realized well, library is also good with native village. So my opponent is still, uh, my opponent still has the bishop. Gets the first province, puts me in a, gets the uh, the mountain pass, makes me bid. I wanted to bid recently a high number that I can let's say pay off in one turn. So fifteen was with the platinums I have. Fifteen was one turn, but uh, maybe I could have bid more. Um, the thing is, my I was aware that my opponent has like platinum and gold, so I figured they can. I don't want to bid. Uh, my opponent actually uh, takes the the points there, so I think I underestimated uh, what my opponent is capable of producing in terms of coins. So at this point, with one pile down, even though with all the runes that I've given my opponent, I was still kind of concerned that they can sneak something past me in terms of um. In terms of you know spiking some colonies, but um, that's why I. But the idea is you just keep you keep build. You don't want to underbuild at this point. You don't want to just rush for because it's a colony game and the buys aren't too. There, I finally get the library. That's going to work well with the native villages and the dungeons, and it's just it's going to help everything out more than the archive. Although the archive would have been good too. Um, yeah, in a game like this where, uh, you know, there's a bunch of market squares, so there's a bunch of buys that can be had, but with only one pile down, there's still enough time that you can build a bit more. Also, the other thing is uh, dungeon really helps uh, smooth out with the junk, so you could get some surprise things. It's kind of like uh, another thing, let's say if it was mill on the board, you could also discard a bunch of stuff. that You get surprisingly decent in a slog those those kinds of cards that uh, turn junk cards into not so junky effects so here I was actually confused of why there was a plus sign on the uh, platinum as I was reading eight but then uh, my brain started to work again and realized I had enough money to po afford a platinum so my opponent also has a um, a few native villages so they're also able to um, get some villages going so they're trashing the cultists just to get the plus three cards it's just at this point my deck has enough uh, it has a library it has the native villages it has the draw it was just and have enough platinums that you could start to just uh, go for the colonies still couldn't find my market square it's my market squares on the mat actually so if I want, I, it's my only market square. So I actually, if I want to buy more than one card, uh, I would need to get it back or buy a new market square. So my opponent gets the library as well. So yeah, I have a nice turn here with uh, getting a lot of value out of the library. Here I get into a situation where. I'm at the like if I trigger the shuffle if I put the market square in my hand to trigger the shuffle, all of my there's a bunch of junk that I discarded, and I would be stuck with that like all those colonies and coppers I would have uh, had to draw them all. I draw the I mean I draw a bunch of them anyway, but uh, uh, so I couldn't play the market square there. That was interest uh, interesting thing that happened. Uh, at this point, I have. Uh, a large amount of points uh, over my opponent. I uh, don't have any uh, dungeons, so this is going to be an off turn. But I don't know. I was paranoid there, about so I got a duchy. I just didn't want to be um, being so close. I didn't want I w also with all the stuff in my main village, the village man. I figured I could push for points if I had to. I was probably playing too uh, conservative there, getting the duchy. So here I just pick everything up. 
and uh, yeah, that's that's enough to get the last two 